Hi, this is Gary Fong, and I'm going to explain to you the LightSphere Universal mounting and a sample shot today. Now, the LightSphere Universal has, as one of its key innovations, is our patented strap and band uh, mounting system. And the strap and band mounting system you've seen in probably many of my other YouTube videos is so strong that I can pick up the entire camera with it and uh, drive it. In fact, uh, in a second I'll pick up the entire camera with the tripod and everything simply by holding up the, the, the diffuser itself. And that's the key thing about the diffuser is that it will not fall off. And um, any of the other diffusers, unless they're Velcroed on, even if they are Velcroed, you can't do that. If you, if you uh, knock it, it'll fall off. And so what you wind up doing, uh, what I did as, when I was a professional photographer, is I'm walking around very gingerly hoping that the dome doesn't fall off. And, and um, that also means that you have to have a smaller diffuser size. Now, if you Google what creates soft lighting, of course, they'll always say it's the larger the light source, the softer the light, which is why you'll see a lot of times photographers have like these huge 10-foot umbrellas or something like that to make the most beautiful lighting. Well, that's not practical in a lot of situations with speed lights, and therefore you want to have the largest one that you can, the softest one that you can, but large means that it could fall off, and that's the secret behind the mounting system which is patented and nobody else has. So this right here is an Nikon SB900. It's the largest uh, flash diameter. It's among the largest. There's the SB910. There's the Canon 600D XRT. But they're, you know, very, very large flashes. And, and this uh, system will also work on the smaller flashes. This is an Nikon SB700. And 600, whatever it is, smaller, uh, it'll work big. It doesn't matter. It, it'll fit pretty much everything. So now the, what, what happens is, is I'm taking this silicone rubber strap and I'm just going to put it in just about say half an inch down into the barrel like that so that I have this guy here. Now what the purpose of the strap is is to form a gripping surface. If you don't have this here then it's hard plastic against hard plastic uh, and it'll just simply fall off and that's basically uh, a real, real bothersome kind of a thing for, for your diffusers. Now, the Lights Free Universal has this really uh, cool four point contact uh, position with the band. And so, on a larger flash, you would open it up. On a smaller flash, you don't need to. But the, the, because this is the SB900, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull these guys open so that it'll go down. And it's on. Now that it's on, I'm going to pull the strap like this. Pull it very, very tight, and now it's connected. Now this is such a strong uh, setup that I'm literally picking up the entire camera and tripod and everything just by the diffuser itself. And so that means it's just simply not going to fall off in use. And that's the part that uh, it, it makes ours so much more um, uh, as a professional, so much more useful as a diffuser because that's probably half the reason people don't use diffusers is because they'll fall off. And secondly, because they take a lot of power and um, our diffusers are very, very good in power efficiency. So to show the quality of this, oh, and then the other thing too, by the way, is once it's on on your Sony or Nikon, Pentax, Olympus, simply turn the head sideways like this so that you have the rubber uh, ball I'm sorry, the rubber button in the back. So the reason the button is turned toward the back here is so that I can shoot very quickly vertical and horizontal without having to twist and turn. If I don't put it perpendicular with the head like that, then what happens is I'm shooting horizontal, that's fine. But when I go to shoot vertical, now I'm, I'm like this, right? So I have to now reach up here, then turn, and then twist, and then have it straight up so that I'll have a vertical light over the lens and have some separation to reduce red eye. Well. You, you don't want to do that. It's too slow. So how cool is it that you can just like pivot here and shoot vertical or horizontal? Or in fact, if you're laying down on the ground, you can aim it upwards, the camera upwards. Or if you're on the ceiling and you can aim it down that way, you have this able to fill the ceiling with light. Now that's another thing uh, a lot of people have asked is, is the effectiveness of the Lights Free Universal simply because it's a bounce unit? And the answer is no. And the reason that um, 
I did this next shoot with the model in a studio is because the studio had a black ceiling. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to show the light quality that comes strictly from this and nothing from the bounce off the ceiling. So high, super high ceilings or whatever, or black ceilings, you'll still get beautiful light. If you're in a situation where you do have a ceiling, then the bounce part of it is nice because like in a situation like this where I've got a black shirt, black hat, or whatever, I'll have a nice separation hair, uh, hair light on my hair and on the top of my shoulders. It's great for like wedding photography and things like that, okay? So let's go to the studio where I've got my model and my entire setup and I'm gonna show you a comparison between direct on-camera flash and using the LightSphere Universal. So you can see here we are in a studio with a black ceiling and the reason why I did that is because there's a lot of question about is the LightSphere simply getting its power off the ceiling or if it's coming from the LightSphere itself. Okay, so the first one uh, is gonna be just a direct flash straight on and perfect and what I want to show is that's very cool nice okay we'll just stay there perfect and now let's do Mr. Lightsphere just put this guy on and we will do a series with the Lightsphere Universal